The Probation of Offenders Act, introduced in 1907, provided the statutory framework for the appointment of probation officers and the supervision of offenders. But these were very different times. Following the establishment of the Irish state, there was only one probation officer in the Dublin courts, and up to the 1970s, no full-time paid officers worked outside of Dublin. We have grown out of uh, what was basically a volunteer system uh, in, in the early 1900s. And in, in, in the early 60s, it became what we call a service in that people were recruited uh, by the Department of Justice to, to, to manage uh, within the court system. I, I came in at the start of the 70s, and at that stage, things would just begin to pick up. Uh, and there's a whole lot of things we didn't do then. I mean, for example, there was no circuit court work. There was no serious offenders. There was no sex offenders. Um, there was only one project at that stage, and that was the hostel in North Dublin. Nowadays, we have nearly 70 projects. There's only one then. In 1984, there was a report by the then NESC on the criminal justice system, policy and performance, and it referred specifically to probation, and indeed discussed probation as one of the key agencies in the criminal justice system, and that began to put us on the map. We have moved from a, from a very simple structure to a highly complex uh, organisational structure and in cooperation with the Department of Justice, Equality and Law Reform we're developing new responses to crime within Ireland. We've taken a good look at where the needs are and we, we're meeting those. So we have undergone quite a lot of change. The probation service meets and cooperates with criminal justice agencies in other jurisdictions. These include EU members of the CEP, a European-wide network of organisations working in the field of probation. Probation is right across Europe, it's developing, and new procedures have been developed and driven out through the Euro European Union in making um, offenders management a European issue. The majority of the European countries uh, are member of CEP, and Ireland was involved in setting up, in founding the CEP. So they have, they, they have put their mark on the history of CEP. The service has developed and deployed a substantial IT infrastructure, enabling it to quickly track information and cases. This also allows efficient communication between the probation service and its partner organisations. And we're developing our technologies so that we have a more joined up service within justice. Now we're talking very much in terms of prevention of further offending. We're looking at it from a criminal justice point of view. We're talking in terms of public protection. Uh, we're looking at it very much from a criminology point of view. We are focusing on assessment. We are focusing on high risk offenders. We are focusing on children as critical groups. We are looking at how we deliver a service in the prison setting. And again, within that context, how are we looking at through care management in terms of our responsibilities? So very much we're rising to the challenges and trying to be creative in providing an up-to-date service.